Right, so I said, I'll play keyboard, you play drums. Microphone check, one, two.
members of Walking Pain Mark. Let's uh, give them a big hang. We got, uh, yeah, we got Jim Wallace, we got Pete Lopez, we got Hutch Hutchison, we got Jane Robinson who put this band together. And I'm sorry, I don't know who's on bass. Tom Niche. All right, so we got that. And right now we're going to induct Walking K. Mark into the Hall of Fame. So Walking K. Mark was born under a cactus in the heart of Arizona desert. Surrounded by, I'm going to cry just so you guys know, he was a friend of mine. Surrounded by five generations of bluegrass based musicians. Being an Arizona native, native, it's iconic that instead of playing country based music, his relatives, like his relatives, he quickly followed a passion into the gritty blues, R&B, and soul music early on. Walking K. Mark described himself as a high-energy, blues classic, soul vocalist, and harmonica player in the classic post-World War II Chicago style. Walking K. Mark Brown started his professional career at the age of 22, fronting an, an R&B band, you guys know them, Cold Shot and the Hurricane. Yeah. Ted, uh, who was the uh, leader of the band, wanted a front man that had a live stage presence, a wildness, and a blue-eyed soul man like Wayne Cochran. Uh, pretty much walking Kate Mark. It was the great Willie Dixon who dubbed Mark walking Kate Mark in 1988 when Mark was recovering from a crippling car accident. Dixon saw Mark walking around with a cane, and he knew his name was Mark, and one day out of Willie's mouth came Walking Cane Mark, and it stuck. It was also Willie who first recognized Mark's passion for the blues, and then introduced Mark to various members from Monty Waters and Helen Wolf Bands. The first person of stature to teach Mark was the first man to amplify a harmonica post-World War II on Maxwell Street in Chicago, harmonica guru, it was Snooky Pyro. 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 He was Pyro. Thank you. All right, I've had a few cocktails. Just so you know. All right, so he was tutored, drilled, and educated under Snooky and Junior Wells. Mark compared, uh, and they compared Mark's vocal style to Nappy Brown. In 1994, it was the start of Walking K. Mark's solo career and the formation of Walking K. Mark and a shot in the dark. He was signed to the independent record label JN Records. Walking Kane completed seven full length albums, as well as numerous guest and producing credits that he had. He passed away unexpectedly in June of 2020. Here to accept the induction for Walking King Mark into the Arizona Blues Hall of Fame is his brother Brian and his sister Natalie. Come on up, guys. Everyone, uh, this meant the world to Mark, Lucky King, and um, he's my baby brother. Um, and I think if he was here today, he'd say, "Keep the blues alive." The members, because not the full band. 